What is up, MJ? Welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Duncan. And I'm Madison. Today is neither rain nor snow day. Not to be confused with neither sleet nor hail day. Speaking of rain and snow and sleet and hail, Serena, how's the weather look? Well, Maddie, today, tomorrow, and Friday will be partly cloudy with afternoon temps in the low 90s. On Saturday, it will probably rain at least in the afternoon, but Sunday looks pretty clear at this point. In national weather, western Montana got almost a foot of snow over the Labor Day weekend. There's still 15 days until fall, and there's already snow in the U.S. That's just plain crazy. Anywho, Helena received the most snow, totaling 10 inches at Showdown Ski Area. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Enjoy your summer while it lasts. Thanks, Sabrina. There will be an FBLA meeting after school in room B122. There will also be a track parent meeting on Thursday, September 15th at 5 p.m. in A146. Please bring a new physical with you to the meeting. Now let's go to Shannon with more sports news. Hey, MJ, it's Shannon here with your sports. Last night, our girls volleyball team beat Station Camp with JV winning 2-0 and Varsity winning 3-2. During the game, Tavy Bell had 19 kills, 3 aces, and 8 blocks. Sarah Grace Wilson had 18 digs, and Amber Earhart had 28 assists. Congrats to them. Also, for the second year in a row, both boys and girls golf teams were victorious at the Wilson County Challenge. The boys beat Wilson Central by 3 strokes, and Cooper Sears was the first medalist with a 72, and Luke Grains took second medalist with a 73. The girls went to a second hole playoff to win with Haley Gold taking the second medalist. Tonight, there's a volleyball game at Smyrna. And tomorrow, there's a golf tournament against Gallatin and Hendersonville at 1.30 at One Tree Golf Course. Our Lady Bears soccer team is playing Centennial here at 4.30 for JV and 6.30 for Varsity. There will be a volleyball game at Hendersonville at 5 for JV and 6 for Varsity. And last but not least, the freshman football team is playing at Ravenwood at 6.30. So be sure and go out and support all of our teams. I'm Shannon, and that was your sports news. Back to you guys. Thanks. Any student interested in traveling to Europe next summer, please see Mr. McGee in room B123 for more information. There will be a community service opportunity September 10th and 11th at Gravel Road Traditions. This will be a photography event, so please come by if you're an experienced photographer or editor. Seniors, remember that tomorrow is Senior Parent Night, so make sure your parents can come at 6 so they can fill out the FAFSA. Also, coming soon is the iPhone 7. Why don't you tell us about that, Ryan? I'd be glad to, Madison. MJ, today is the day. For all you iPhone users who have suffered with the beta version of iOS 10, the new iPhone 7 is coming out today, featuring a version of iOS 10 that doesn't lag all the time. Also believed to be introduced today is the Apple Watch 2. The Apple Keynote begins at noon today. You can watch it by visiting Apple's website. In other news, MTSU will hold a college fair tonight. So, for all you seniors that don't quite know where you want to go to college at, this is a great way to meet and connect with over 60 colleges all at one venue. This fair will be held in the Student Union Ballroom from 6 until 8 tonight. For all of you that are jobless or looking for another job, we have three options for you. Kroger and Providence is hiring for front-end positions. They are very flexible with schedules and are actively seeking new applicants. Please stop by Kroger and see Brad Jones for more information. Chick-fil-A Providence Marketplace is also seeking new applicants. Chick-fil-A features flexible hours, free food with every shift, and a scholarship program. Stop by and grab an application. Papa John's and Hermitage is also hiring, so feel free to visit them for more information. Attention sophomores, all of you will be taking the pre-ACT on September 20th during first and third block. Seniors will also be attending a college fair at Cumberland University at the same time. One last thing, parent-teacher conferences will be hosted tomorrow from 4 until 7. Parents are instructed to enter through the Commons area. That's all for trending. Back to you guys. Thanks. Hey, seniors, you've only got nine more days to turn in your senior signatures. German Club and Japanese Culture Club members wanting to be in the homecoming parade need to turn in parade forms to Ms. Z by Thursday, September 8th in room A107. You cannot be in the parade if you don't have a signed form. German Club will meet next Wednesday, September 14th from 320 to 410 in room A107. Japanese Culture Club will meet next Monday, September 12th from 320 to 410 in room A107. And, and now, now a new segment we call Whip Wednesday. Hey guys, I'm Tanner Wallace. I drive a 2004 Acura TO. It's lowered. It doesn't go over speed bumps well. But that's okay.
watching. Please leave a like. Goodbye. Follow me on Instagram. watching WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Duncan. And I'm Madison. And here at BNN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day MJ. MJ.